let's customize some tabs. So, Google Chrome, good browser, horrible new tab page, uh, and sort of getting worse. So, we have this nonsense. First of all, why are all the pictures blank? Like, I don't even know. Uh, and then second of all, a lot of times you get this big Google banner on top, like a big banner ad, um, which I guess is an ad for Google while you're using Google. I don't know. It's horrible. So let's get rid of this thing. Uh, and we're going to do it in two parts. So the first is we're going to install the Chrome extension that will empty your tab page and give you a blank slate. And then we're going to put stuff into it. Um, so it's pretty easy. So first thing we're going to do is we'll get the empty new tab extension. So just Google empty new tab page. Um, it's in my history, but uh, probably won't be in yours. First link, and just install. Super easy. This is what it's going to look like here. Yep. Okay. So we're all good. So now if we make a new tab, that's better. It's better. It's not so painful. It's still not very hot. Let's make it hot. All right. So I'm going to do this in terminal. Follow along if you like. Um, it's pretty simple, but uh, if I lose you, uh, don't worry about it. You can just play it again. So we're going to go to where all our Chrome extensions are stored, which is in your home directory, library, application support, Google, no, not game dev tycoon, Google Chrome default extensions. <clears throat> and the one thing you'll see if you go in here is that all the extensions have these nonsense names. Um, so you'll see like just sort of gibberish. And that makes it a little bit tricky to find out which one is the one you want. Because um, the extensions get renamed when they're installed. But the trick that we're going to do is we're just going to grab uh, meaning search um, for the string empty new tab page. And I'm going to put quotes around it. It's easier to explain what I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to say empty new tab. Uh, and don't just search for new tab because lots of extensions have the string new tab. Um, so I search for empty new tab, which will find the exact extension that we want. So it turns out it's hidden here in this directory, this long string. So don't bother typing that. I'm just going to select that and go into there. And now we're in this folder. And so I'm going to pop it open uh, in the finder so you can see what's in there. Uh, it's not much basically just this stuff. <clears throat> you have three files. Only one you care about is HTML. This is what page it's loading in the empty new tab page. That's basically it. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna hack that up a little bit and we're gonna make it make it sweet. So we go into empty new tab page and by default it has this stuff in it and rather than tell you line by line what to change I figured I'll save you some time. So if you go to uh, the link below the video that says gist github. It'll take you to a preset page that has everything you need. Click on this side here, this is raw. We're gonna copy this. And I'm just gonna blow away everything that's in there. So I'm just gonna do that little angle redirect. Uh, see that? Empty paste, control D when you're done, because D for done, I guess, go Unix. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to change two pieces. So one is this color here, um, see that, uh, where it says hex background color, and one of them is this image down here. Um, so first we'll just change the color. You can put any hex color here you want, obviously. Uh, if you don't know hex colors, that's okay. I put a link in there for you, so just click that, uh, and that'll take you to a big Plonkin chart of 10 million colors. So like if you want to do this little blue aqua thing here, just go 00FFEE, 00FFEE. Zero zero F -F -E -E. And now when you make a new tab, you got aqua. Pretty cool, basic, simple, new print. Uh, but instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to add some GIFs, because everybody likes GIFs. So go down where it says your image here. We're going to delete that. Uh, and go find some GIFs. They can either be locally on your hard drive, uh, I have a couple here, or they can be uh, URLs online. So uh, I'll show you both. So if we want to do a URL, just grab that um, and paste that in. So I pasted a, a link to a GIF that I happen to have. Uh, and now when you do a new tab, uh, that's what your new tab looks like. 
it's pretty sweet. Um, it's kind of kind of trippy. Some fireworks, Fourth of July, uh, and all your tabs, you know, inherit that. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's gonna do full screen, so uh, you know if you you kind of make it big or small, uh, it'll just adapt. Um, so that's that. Um, on the other hand, if you if you don't have the GIF online, that's that's the easiest way to do it. If you see a GIF on a web page, just paste the link to it. You can also do it um, locally. So I'm going to put one of these GIFs in here. Um, so we'll copy. I like this one a lot. It's called Globulus. Uh, this is made by Mr. Div. Uh, Mr. Div is awesome. You should check out check out his site. Um, so we'll just paste globulus that gift in there. And now we have this ultra chill new tab page, which just looks great. Um, so now instead of seeing a big ad for Google when I open a new tab, I see this. Um, pimp your shit out. Let me know if you have any problems. Thanks for watching.